Hi, my name is Tim Wilson. I'm the creator of the Objection Crusher training series and system. And today we're going to be talking about how to connect with people. Ultimately, we're answering the question we started asking yesterday. How do you sponsor like a six and seven figure income earner before you are one? I don't know what level you are, what rank, what income you are in this industry, but most people get into the business to make money. Most people want to get to a, a retirement level income, a six or seven figure income. After we learn how to supplement our income, maybe after we learn how to bring our wife home, we're looking to get to a retirement income. And I know that most people in this business have had an opportunity to see the possibilities, see the potentials. And all I want you to do is understand that there are some things behind achieving this. There are legitimately some things that you can do in or you can learn in order to get there quicker. That's what the Crusher course is all about. Not just handling objections that people have to the business, but handling internal objections that you may have to your own success. You know, learning what that million dollar mindset is, like we talked about yesterday. What do we have to do? We have to learn to engage beyond our emotions. Today we're gonna to learn how to connect with people. Really, how does a million dollar mindset or how does someone that earns six and seven figure income really connect with people? And this is someone that's a leader, someone that's duplicatable. So let me walk through this with you. Again, I hope you've printed out the introductory course. Um, we're gonna be talking about the green part, if you will, in the course. I'm gonna give you one element of the first session that's in the module two of dealing with people in the course itself. And I need to apologize to you because what I'm doing right now is completely wrong. Uh, from a marketing standpoint, from a marketing concept, I'm giving you way too much information. The information I should be giving you is probably, uh, should be very simple and it should be very deep. I'm going extremely wide with the content. I'm giving you a little piece of information out of every one of the modules that are in the Objection Crusher course. So in doing that, just know I'm doing it wrong, okay? And forgive me, but this is information that I've seen have a huge impact on many people's lives. And so it's important for me to be able to give it to you because I think it will benefit you. It will help you do what you want to do. It'll help you achieve that, uh, that six and seven figure income. It will help you learn how to become a crusher. So the first thing, there's four things in connecting with people. The first one is a do. Now there's two do's and there's two things you must understand. The first one, always work to maintain and increase someone's self-esteem. How many times have you been in a room when someone came into the room and everybody in that room felt worse after that person left than before that person got there? Who wants to be around that guy? Nobody wants to be around that person. Why would we want to follow that person into a business? So our goal is, and this is not about giving people what they want, just you know, giving in to everybody's whims and whimsies and all those types of things. It's not being controlled, but it's learning how to set a stage, how to set a proper stage for a relationship, how to engage with another human so that you're always in control of your environment so that when people get around you, they feel better about who they are. Someone's self-esteem is how they emotionally feel about who they are. We have the ability to control that. A lot of times it's just by always making sure that we're doing things that will increase their self-esteem, not tear it down. This is extremely important when you're dealing with kids. You know, it's extremely important in any kind of business environment, in any kind of personal environment. So this is a great thing to think about as you go through the process of any relationship, of building relationship with anybody. The second thing is something you need to understand. People operate from their perception of the truth, not the truth. This has caused more misunderstandings on a global scale, a governmental scale, and even a network marketing scale than about any other statement I could probably make right now. People operate from what they perceive to be the truth. See, my dad used to say that everybody's ignorant, it's just in different places, and that's so true. I'm ignorant about things I don't know about. There's just some things you don't know that you don't know. We think we do, and in this industry, because we've heard a myth, we've heard a misunderstanding, someone's talked to us about it before in the past, we have a perception, we have a preconceived idea. So when someone comes to us with a statement of truth, we filter that, pre that statement of truth, or we filter that fact, if you will, through a preconceived concept, a preconceived idea. And what's a concept? We learned that in the course, in the introductory course. A concept is a unit of knowledge. We use this knowledge that we think we've got to process 
you know, whether or not this industry is a scam. We use this knowledge to process whether or not this industry is uh, profitable for people, if people can really make money in this business. So that's what your prospects are doing. Your prospects are actually processing the information with everything they've got. And a lot of times the information they've got is just simply inaccurate. Once you get this, it's easier to understand that you need to maintain and increase someone's self-esteem. Self it's easier to do that because you don't take things as offensive, you're not as offended by things whenever people do object or whenever people do say, hey, that's a pyramid scheme. The next thing that we've got, we must maintain a positive and effective attitude. This is something you must do. Maintain a positive and effective attitude. Why is this important? Because you can never grow without a positive and effective attitude and you can never really duplicate without a positive and effective attitude. I've seen people that can make money and have a negative attitude, but the issue at that point is that they understand how to be effective, they understand how to engage, they understand that they have to operate beyond how they feel so they stay in that million dollar mind, they stay engaged in the process we learned yesterday which is they engage beyond how they feel. So right now you've got to see your attitude as uh, uh, not really an emotion. You've got to see your attitude, and this is a big mistake a lot of people make concerning their attitude. They see it as an emotion. Your attitude has nothing to do with your emotions. It's a decision. It's a mindset. It's a, like setting of the sail. It's, it's something that we, um, we determine in advance. We can turn it. It's like a, a light switch almost to some degree. A great way to look at your attitude is as if it is a tool. How do you use your tool? Are you effective at using it or are you ineffective? And ask yourself, is this, you know, take it out, take your attitude, set it in front of you and say, and look at it, examine it and say, is this thing really producing what I want it to produce? What do I have to do to get my attitude to work correctly so that it puts money in my bank instead of taking money out of my bank? We never want our attitude to take money out of our bank. The last thing is something you must understand. You have to have a personal responsibility in any relationship, or you have a personal responsibility in any relationship you're in. And this is critical because your goal as a leader, as you become this six and seven figure income, it's not so much about leading people to your dreams. It's about leading people in a way not uh, that gets you what you want, but it's about learning to lead people in a way so that they're achieving their goals, so that they're achieving what they want, so that they're achieving their dreams. This is the magic of this industry. It gives us the ability to grow. It gives us the ability in an environment where we're motivated, we're financially rewarded if we learn this stuff, if we become a better leader, if we're better at taking responsibility in the relationship. Now this doesn't mean that we do the work for people. This means that we understand that if we want to have a successful organization, we have some responsibility to that organization. Doesn't mean that we do what they, we, you know, we have to do everything someone says. It doesn't mean that we're controlled. It means that we have a responsibility. Something else I want you to think about through this whole process is learning to play offense. You know, be that person that when they come into a room, everybody kind of has a sigh of relief. Everybody sort of calms down. You can walk into a tense situation and you can de-escalate that situation. That's, somebody, that's something that somebody wants to have in a sponsor. That's something that somebody wants to feel. They want to feel that somebody has the ability to control a conversation. You know, not be controlling, but just to direct it where it needs to go. Calm, they're excited, they're energetic but they're not overbearing. They're not putting people down. They've got a good attitude. They're responsible. They call people back when they say they're gonna call people back. If you tell somebody, a prospect, hey, I'm gonna call you back and see what you liked about this video I just sent you, and you say, I'm gonna call you back tomorrow, you better call them back tomorrow. That's having a responsibility in the relationship. Tomorrow we're gonna to talk about crushing the objection. I hope you follow me on Twitter. I'll give you something every single day, two or three things that'll encourage you, motivate you, a tip here, a tip there. Be a crusher, do the work, we'll see you tomorrow.